Exactly. Oh. We're live. There we are. <laughs> Hi, everyone. Hi. Welcome back to our second Facebook Live of the day. We yes. are happy to be here. My name is Ann Butler. And Hi. this over here, opposite, is my business partner and crafty friend, Lisa Rojas. We That's own cool. Bella Crafts Publishing. We do a free publication, which is a craft magazine four times a year. The fall issue just came out. And we are thrilled with what everything it about it. Yeah, it looks gorgeous. So if you have not received your copy yet, be sure and sign up. Lisa will put a link to our website in here. Yes, I or will. you can go to our Facebook page and click learn more and sign up and it'll be delivered right to you. Hi, Jimmy. Hi, Jimmy. So we are happy that that is out. And now I'm busy working on the winter issue. Yeah. Yeah. We get one started and then the next one. We got to go to the next one. Right. Right. <laughs> but that's okay. I know we're live because Jimmy's here. I'm just going to check and make sure it's all good on my phone, too. Um, yeah, I shut my phone off, so I have no idea. <laughs> Hi, Rosario. Nice to see you. Hi, Ro. <laughs> so, um, Lisa, you want to tell them a little bit about our group? Yes, we have a Facebook group called Do You Love to Craft? And in it, we've got some really creative people. Um, and we like to, you know, go in and share, sorry, go in and share our projects, craft ideas, whatever the case may be. We would love for you to join um, and just, you know, show us your, your really cool stuff that you're making because we like to see what other people are doing too, right? Yes, we do. We love... We love it when you share what you've created. We love when you take something we maybe showed you on a live and twist it and make it yours. Yes. We just love to see it all. Jimmy, That's Lisa so will have a blog post on our website on a Sunday with all of the dimensions for her shaker project. Yes. So make sure you check out our website on Sunday. Yes. It'll be up like 6 a.m. or something Sunday. I schedule it ahead. So yeah. it will definitely oh. be there because my last one I didn't get to put in because I was sick. So this one will definitely be in. Yes. So, um, yeah, no just worries. check back because that was such a, such a cute project. Hi, Dorothy, mm -hmm. Gina, Linda. So happy to see all of you here. Yeah. Gina, and I hope you're feeling better, honey. Oh, yeah. Yeah. She had, I think, knee surgery. Not that I'm blurring. No, well, now I'm blurring out her her health issues. Sorry, Gina. <laughs> we hope you're okay. We hope you're doing good, yes. girl. Always, always sending prayers. Yes, always. Hi, Rebecca. So Hi, Rebecca. we are happy to be here. Lisa just told you about our group. And I am going to put in the group mm, this evening or tomorrow a survey that I would love for everybody to take yeah. because Important. Um, while we've had to cancel Bellacon, <laughs> Bellacon 20, 21, 22, we've had to cancel a lot of things. Yeah. I am planning Bellacon 2023 for February in Texas. Yeah. So um, I'm in Minnesota, which is usually where I do the Bellicon because it's close. Well, even I've had it at Mall of America. So even for me, it's a two and a half hour drive. But we're going to do it in Texas in February. Yeah. End of February. So I'm going to put um, a survey in. A retreat. Yes, Jimmy, a retreat where there'll be lots of classes, yep, lots of swag, door prizes, um, yeah. make and takes. All kinds of fun. Stuff. All of the things we love. 
And uh, I believe at our other Bellacons, the swag was valued between three and four hundred dollars. Oh yeah, it's oh, I mean, we had <laughs> tote bags, right? But yep. everybody got two and a half tote bags because there was so much stuff we couldn't fit it in just one tote bag. Yes, yes. I mean, it was crazy the way that it went. So and we had awesome sponsors oh and gosh, yes. fabulous door prizes. So I'm in the midst of planning it for the Dallas-Fort Worth area in February of 2023. So I will Ooh. put a survey in to get um, people's ideas. And we've already reached out to a lot of the instructors. There is going to be fabulous instructors that you will all love. And um, yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm excited about that. And then I was going to tell you guys a fun fact, right, about Velcro. For those of you that saw Lisa's live, yes. she used Velcro for her project, and I am using Velcro for my project. I'm showing you guys how to create cute little headbands, and it has Velcro on it so you can make, so that you can do a hair clip, too. Eileen oh. is coming, Jimmy, oh, yes. Oh, right. Eileen has been at all of our events, and I've already <laughs> talked to Eileen. And Eileen is coming. Yeah. Eileen's always coming. Eileen is. There. Yes. Yeah. So um, this was done with Velcro. But what I wanted to share with you, Lisa had shared that we had done a uh, an ebook with Velcro. I had worked with Velcro for many years. And when we started Bella Crafts Publishing, I had asked about doing an ebook. And the person that I worked with, he wasn't really sure because Velcro is Velcro, right? Yeah. yeah. Well, they had a new product and it was um, Sticky Back for Fabrics. Yeah. So Sticky Back for Fabrics, we did a book for them and they brought it into Walmart. And they were so impressed with all of the projects we had done that they didn't even look at it as Velcro is Velcro that they bought the entire line. Yeah. But the fun fact is amazing. This picture right here is one of the projects I did. So it has um which one is that, Anne? Because I can't see and I don't remember which one you did. Well, I we did lots, right? We each did about yeah, we, five. Yeah. But um it is a shirt. So it oh, had yeah. rhinestones on the collars that you could right. in, that you could change out for different colors. But the I other fun fact I wanted to show you was, while I didn't take that picture, I created the project. But I've worked with Velcro for a long time. So this is one of their, okay, I got to turn this light. There this we go. One of their. Oh, I remember this, yes. This is my son's house, and we yes. decorated it for Christmas with these Velcro multi clips. So that is a picture that I did, and this is. I gotta turn this light down. <laughs> I was trying to avoid the glare of my overhead, but the other ones are. So this is my living room. Yep. And those are Christmas stockings I did for some of the grandkids. And we use the removable indoor hangers. Yeah, those are so cool. Ugh. So, you know, while we're designers and we create um, projects and stuff, we also work with manufacturers. Yeah. And I love to work with them. And whenever my products are on the packaging, it's just an added bonus, right? it's amazing it's an amazing feeling as a creative designer so when you walk into the store and you, you know? see it yeah and you go like, oh my gosh that's, <laughs> that's how I felt when I was on the cover of one of the stamp magazines probably 15 years ago right and they sent me a copy I had no idea I was going to be on the cover they sent it me is. a copy and I was like oh my god I told my 
<laughs> I know. It is always such a great feeling. It Linda, is. we'll have to have one in Calgary. Calgary. Maybe someday. Um, the thing with the event oh, is when I get all of the product from the manufacturers here in Minnesota, I'll have it sent to the event, event center, like at Mall of America. But there's a window of one week, which they can send it or they Mall of America will send it back. Yeah. The first event, they didn't send anything back, but they were getting things three weeks out and they have to house all of that stuff. Yeah. For the one for Texas, this is going to be a trial. I'm having all of the swag and door prizes sent to my house. You're insane. I already told you this, but. <laughs> because uh -oh. we did buy a trailer for my business for when I travel teach. So I will be able to pre-pack all of the swag and put it in the trailer. And that way it's done because. When we do it at the event, while a lot of people who come to the event are more than willing to help, it takes like two days. Yeah, it was. It takes a couple days to do. So I figure yeah. this way I can set everything up on the pool table in the basement. I got lots of grandkids. <laughs> yeah, because it took two days to put all of that swag together. And it wasn't just you and I. No, was, no, Eileen was, was helping, Lorraine was, I mean, we had like 10 of us. Yeah. Because you have to well, open we, up boxes, you have to, you know, oh, so yeah, I, so like if this works really well, Linda, Calgary could be a possibility. There you go. If I can come into the country with all that swag. Oh. <laughs> I'd, have yeah. to, I'd have to know about that too. Gina, it will be in the Dallas-Fort Worth area. So I'm going to put a survey in our group. Would love for all of you to fill it out. If you're not in the group, Lisa's going to put the link in here while I'm doing my project. Yep. And it will be in there later tonight or tomorrow morning. So, are you going to um, put on Bella's page two or just? Are no, you I'll put it on Bella's page two and I'm going to send it. We do have a mailing list and on our mailing list, we have a group that only wants information about the events. So they will be happy to actually get the information. <laughs> um, Linda or Lisa, it will be, depending upon the venue, it would be yeah. an evening where everybody registers and we would have introductions and we would have um, a get together that evening. And then it would be two full days of classes and make and takes and just being together with friends. And then there would be an evening party. So two and a half days is what I am looking at presently. So it depends a lot on the surveys. Um, how many people can attend? That depends upon my venue, Jimmy. Yeah. Um, the venue I'm looking at, I'm thinking the max per class, we would do 30. So that would be 120 to 150 people. Our Bella events at Mall America were like 150 to 175 people. Because mm -hmm. we had so, so much room. Right. We had yeah. so, so much room. And yeah. Mall America was very generous with us. They were so easy to work with. Yeah. But the difference with having it at a venue like Mall of America, they don't cater. So having it at a venue where people can sit down together for meals and stuff, I think that's important when you are, um, you know, so many people virtually, but together in person. Right. So fun. I unfortunately... I'm a hugger. Um, so, so we will have to sign up quickly. Yes, Jimmy, <laughs> you would. But I will, um, after I have the event secured, all the teachers secured in November sometime, I will put out 
and I will give you guys a notice saying, hey, the event is going live on this date. Yeah. So Gina's a hugger too. See, so I can't wait to meet you, Gina. <laughs> Me too. But I am going to show you how to make this. Oops. There we go. My pumpkin was upside down. This super cute headband. So cute. And Jimmy's a hugger too. See, I think <laughs> I think crafters are huggers. I do too. You know? Yeah. Because we we love to give things. We love to make things. We like to make people feel good. Yep. So yeah, that's part of yeah. Um, so I'm gonna show you how to make this super cute, that's adorable, changeable headband. Lisa will put links in. Yep. And I'm gonna change my camera down. Okay. And and we're I'm gonna, gonna I'm gonna see what my um lighting is like. Maybe I just want to turn my overhead back on. But that's a little dark. Yeah, I think I'll turn my overhead back on. So. Sylvia. <laughs> so that's a little. That's a little bit better. And I'll shut these these lights. Oh, I have I have. Okay, other, that's funny. I tried doing um, these lights so that the overhead lighting won't interfere. I do have um, these big lights that I put on either side of my table, but I live in Minnesota and it's getting chilly out and we had a lot of potted vegetable plants like tomatoes and cucumbers. And so we moved them all into the garage and I took my lights from in here out and put plant lights in them. <laughs> so they keep growing. So that is why. So I'm trying to make this lighting just a little bit better. Yes, Gina, I know you always share. And yes, thank you for do. that. We appreciate all of you guys so, so very, very much. We do. Okay, yeah, so. That's, that's better, Ann. This is what I'm going to show you. And there's so many ways you can do this. And I have made headbands like these since my girls were little. Yeah. And people, I have 16 grandchildren. So <laughs> my kids were little a lot. All right. I'm, I'm stepping out. Ago. There we go. Making Ann big. Sorry about that. I got so distracted. I forgot to oh. move you. <laughs> well, okay. So the, what I love about these is the Velcro makes it so that you can change out. You can make one headband. Yeah. Because it does take, depending upon the width of your ribbon, it takes about three yards of ribbon to wrap it. And so you would only need one. And then you could change up, you could put Velcro on the back of just a pumpkin and have that on there. The little, the little witch's hat. Although, you know, so you don't have to do the flower part, but I just love the flower part. And you can have it going this way, or you can turn it this way. So there's that. And you can also take a clip. And I like to wrap the top and the side. I don't do the bottom because you don't want it. It doesn't stay in the hair as well if you do the bottom. But I like this part covered. And... I always try to remember to put Velcro has a hook and a loop. I try to put, you can't tell on here. I have the Velcro on here. I have the soft, which is the loop. The hook is the harder side. So I always tried to put the um, soft side on like on the clothing and stuff, so it doesn't itch or scratch. But see, you can take and do this, and then you have a hair clip. So these are fun. So to get started, we are using fabulous buttons from Buttons Galore and more. And I have used their buttons, like Lisa said, during her live, we have used these for over 20 years. They have such cute character and buttons. 
and we use them a lot for crafting. They would be cute on clothing too, but they come in such good assortments and then they have just regular buttons too, which you can do, or even like this I made, I think last month, that's one of their flower buttons and I put that on. So see, that would be cute on here too. You know, and this is perfect for a little hair bow for a girl. So to get started, move some of this out of the way. Sorry. <laughs> oh, I'm hey. going to turn my glue gun on. Okay, while you're doing that, I don't want you guys to forget that not only are they uh, Buttons Galore and More doing a giveaway, they are also um, offering a $10 off your $40 order. Yep. So you're going to use the code BCP, as in Bella Crafts Publishing, 10 and they'll give you $10 off of your $40 order. So you can order like $30 worth of fun stuff. Gina said they're the cutest buttons. She'll be ordering some. So make sure you put in that BCP 10 yeah. for 10% off. There you go, Gina. Okay, so for this, <coughs> you obviously need a headband. And Doris used to make these headbands, so I'm assuming that Michael's bought Doris, so they might sell these, but I used to buy them in like a package of six, and they're really inexpensive, and they come in different widths, but you can also go to the dollar store and, and buy these, so you need a headband, and you can use whatever you want. You can use um, a glue gun if you want. But what I did, I love my red liner tape. And I take and put red liner tape. I got there. I put it about an inch up on the outside and on the inside on both sides of the bottom of the headband. And then I peel it. I peel it off and then for this, I'm just using some satin ribbon. That's not, it's about a quarter inch, so it's not too wide. And I just put it down. That way there's no wet glue and it stays perfectly in place because you want to cover the end. You don't want the plastic part of the headband showing. That just covers the end, it, which again, it just finishes off the headband. So you do that to both sides. So it's like this. And then again, you can use wet glue if you want, but this red liner tape works so well for so many things. And this is quarter inch wide. And I just take and put it all the way down at the bottom of my ribbon there. And I come up about two and a half inches. And I'm gonna do that on the other side too. This just makes it so it's so secure and it's going to stay exactly where you put it. So that's about two, two and a half inches. Let me see there. You can see there. And then I come in the center of the headband at the top. And I'm going to place it. about another two or two and a half inches right there in the middle. And then I'm gonna do just about an inch on either side here. You don't have to do the entire thing. You can if you want, but you don't have to. You just want, because you're wrapping and you're wrapping tightly, 
So it is going to be secure, but you want that tape every now and then so that it really holds. And this one headband, of course, is different than all the other headbands I have. Because this one, I must not have got, I've gotten, I got someplace else. Because it has the little tiny teeth. So I'm actually covering up those little teeth with the ribbon. The other headbands I have are just plain. I'm not sure why I grabbed this one. Now I want to show you two different headbands here. Okay, so this headband, if you can see, let me see. This headband was done with satin ribbon. It was like a quarter inch wide. So it took about five yards because a quarter inch, and I wanted to overlap it, it took quite a bit. So then this one, I love this ribbon from Gwen Studios. It is about three quarters of an inch. It's five eighths. And it's sheer. And I use this in a quarter inch or three eighths inch. I buy them this way. On these um, big in the, in the hundred yards. Because I use so much of it. And I use it in a lot of my um, journals or card making. But this was perfect because it's wider than that quarter inch. And I use that and I only needed three yards. But even though it's sheer, you can't tell the difference too much. This one is shinier because it's the satin. And this is sheer, so it's a little bit more matte. But it works really well. And then I used less ribbon. And I think a big 100 yard thing of this is only like $12 or something. So I just wanted to show you what the difference was between those two. So to get started, after you have your, your red liner tape, you just go ahead and remove that red layer. And then you're going to start and I want a straight edge. And you're going to start at the very, very bottom here. And I put it right over the tape. And actually, it's kind of good that this is so sheer because I come in and I wrap this twice. So that it has, it has good coverage right there. And then I just start wrapping and I kind of pull and I go at, at an angle. And when I'm doing this not live, I will take and just pull out several yards of this at a time. And I just start wrapping and I overlap. So if you're using a thinner ribbon, you just want to make sure when you're doing this that you're overlapping the edge so that you don't see any of the headband. And you just do this all the way, pulling the tape off as you get to it. So I have one here that's almost complete. And I used, of course, a clothespin <laughs> to hold it until I was ready. So I'm going to take this last piece of the red liner tape off. Move those out of the way and remove my clothespin. And I'm going to continue wrapping. I'm going to go this way because this is more comfortable for me. And then you just put it in between there. I totally love the, the look that that gives with the overlapping. Well, it, it secures it 
And it and it is a nice look because otherwise it would be just sheer like that. And it would look gray. And right. that, that would not that 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 that's bad, but this way you're really securing that ribbon and finishing this off nicely. And even if you have as you're as you're turning it and rolling it, if you get a little um what do I want to say? A little gather in there or anything, you're going to be covering it. So it's it's not a big deal. And I cut this ribbon off of the roll when I was doing this just so that I could start the other one for you. But really, I just keep it on the spool so I'm not wasting any ribbon also. But you just do that all the way to the end. And you can do these in any color for any occasion. Little girls love headbands. And with these buttons, you can make, oh my goodness, for any occasion. So now when you get down to this end, this is where you want to start instead of going so much at an angle, you can kind of straighten it out. So you, you don't want any coming off that, that edge. And you just wrap it. And then I would put a little red liner tape there and close that out. So I'm going to Use my clothespin for a minute so I can cut a little tiny piece of tape. And this red liner tape is just so super strong. So you only need a little piece because you're only going to put it right at that tip. And I'm not sure if you're going to see this. I'm just putting it right there, right at the very tip. And then I'm going to pull that red layer off. You could, if you wanted, use wet glue or glue gun. But this works so great. So I'm going to wrap that. I want that a little tighter. I'm going to wrap that and then trim this off. And if you needed to, if, if it didn't go exactly the way you wanted it to, you could go ahead and do something at the end again. But that just finishes off your ends nicely. And then to create a cute little floweret, you know, I'm not good about using exact measurements, but I use about eight inches. And this is seven eighths wide. You can use any width you want. And I'm using black thread. I used black thread on these so that you guys could see what I was doing. And I take and fold over about three fourths of an inch from one end. And I come in between the two with my knot. Not that you're gonna see the knot. I just, I'm a sewer and I like to finish things off. And then you're just going to do a running stitch, which is just in and out. And you don't need to do it perfectly. You don't need to do it super close, but you're just going to go in and out the whole length of the ribbon. And you would do that the whole length 
And when you come down to this end, you would fold that in about a half inch also. And then you would gather the entire thing like I did for this one. So this one, you can see where it's folded over on both ends, that little fold. And I just gathered the whole edge and then I pulled it super tight and tied it off. And I say about eight inches, you could use nine inches, you could use seven, you could use 12 inches because once you pull this tight, it just kind of circles upon itself to create. So like if you did 12 inches, you would have a two layered flower there, which would be super cute too. So I did that with a grow grain and then I did it with the shear and so this is where I gathered and then it just gathers on top of itself to create that cute little flowerette. I'm going to see if I wouldn't necessarily use a glue gun myself but because it's live and I want to show it to you I'm using a glue gun <laughs> usually I use a fabric glue and then I hold it with a clothespin until it sets but you're just going because this overlaps you can just take and put just a little dab of glue on one edge and then cover it so with a glue gun, it's kind of instant, which is a nice feature. But usually I'm sitting in my room alone and I don't mind using the clips because I always forget to turn the glue gun on. But you do that to both and you don't have to do two layers of ribbon. I just kind of liked how it looked. Like if you had just this one layer and put this pumpkin on there, that would that would still look cute, you know. I just liked it with that added layer. And it pulled this black in with the headband. Now I'm gonna turn that just a little bit because I didn't like it wasn't a complete circle. So then you just are going to take and glue this one on top of this one. This is where the two sides came together on the black one. And over here is where the two sides came together on the orange. I'm going to put them opposite so all four layers aren't on one side. It's not something you have to do. It just kind of offsets it a little bit. And I like that. So I'm going to just... And you, you, you need such little amount of glue. And like Lisa said, all those strings. Of course, I have like three new glue guns <laughs> in, in, my, in my studio. And I keep using this one I've had for like 20 years. Go figure. So you end up with something like this which is super cute and you could if you wanted use just a regular button you don't have to use the decorative button either like you could use a button like this which is just a regular button but I would thread that button to give it a finished look I like when things just look like they're done and then you could glue it on. So you could use just a button and that'd be super cute too. But because I, it's gonna be Halloween, it's fall, and we have all of these cute buttons from Buttons Galore and more. I'm gonna use one of these. I would love to use the witch's hat, but 
in that case, I would prefer that I would have used yellow and purple. So it'd really pop. The black would really pop. The black cat's not going to show up. So I'm going to go with this other pumpkin. And you want to cut the shank off. And I just use, I actually have a shank remover. Just, they come off super easy. And just going to glue that on there. Trying to get rid of those little strings from the glue gun. And just hold that in place for a couple seconds. And then you got your super cute. That's adorable. Flowerette ready for your headband. Now on this headband, remember I said I use the loop side on the headband or if I'm doing clothing, I use the loop side because the hook side, it's stiffer and you don't want that rubbing against you or anything, but I just always remember I put the loop side on the item that's coming on and off. And this is sticky back for fabrics. So it's perfect um, for ribbon too. I think this was a great addition for the Velcro line. And you just put that on there. And then you can add it to your headband. Super cute. Any little girl would love this. And like I said, where is my, my other one? Not sure where I put it. I got to find it. The other clip. There we go. So these are quick and easy to make. Any little girl would love to create these with you. And they have such cute buttons to choose from. But like I said, you can do this for any occasion. They have great Christmas buttons and everyday buttons. They have all different themes. They're just amazing. And like this little flower button. Well, they do. I mean, okay. This is just one of my jars. <laughs> <laughs> I do have a collection of buttons. But, okay, so look at all of these cool buttons that they have. They have butterflies and other flowers. And yeah, the flowers are my favorite. Hearts. You know, okay, so look at that adorable little Christmas stocking. Yeah, I need to get some more. A little candy. So, I mean, they have, I mean, this, this is filled with just their decorative buttons, you know, so they have yeah. such a nice variety to choose from. So you're not limited at all. It's just by what you want to do. But I hope you like this project. I mean, it's just so cute and so adorable easy here. to do. I'm going to change my camera. Yeah, so easy to do. Right? I mean, yep. There we go. Bring Lisa back in here. Okay. So, yeah, I mean, super cute project. And like I said, if you wanted to, if you didn't want to do the little flower ribbon part, you could just add these, but you could add. Like you could just do three little pumpkins across there. Yeah, that'd be cute. And too. that'd be super cute too. And if you didn't want to add the ribbon, I'm sure you can find some that already are decorated the way you want and just add the Velcro and the buttons. So I do have a great collection, Dorothy. I don't have uh, many decorative buttons. You still have some of the sock monkeys. 
I do have a wonderful collection. And actually, some of those buttons were made by designer friends of mine for Buttons Glore and More. So, um, yeah, it's they are fun because you can use them for so, so many things, you know. And one more tip I want to tell you. When you're using a grow grain ribbon, it does fray. You can take a lighter or a candle and just run the edge. So then there's no fraying. Yeah, that's how I do. Although yeah. I do have a, a ribbon sealer. Yeah. Most of the time I grab a, a lighter. <laughs> well, I, I have a lighter in my drawer right here. Yeah, it's like, why have the thing if you're going to use the lighter? But, you know, I grab whatever's closest. <laughs> right. I just didn't do that for the live. But, yes, you would want to just seal those edges. Yeah. Even though you're folding them over. It's nice to have them sealed so it doesn't fray. Yep. Olive jars are but are perfect for button storage. Got the jars. Now I need the buttons. Yes. <laughs> Yeah, I do a lot of canning, so I have a lot of canning jars. Yeah. And so I do have quite a collection of, well, and I have my grandmother's buttons. I mean, I do love me some buttons. I know, right? Rebecca, I have about 20 Ziploc bags full of assorted buttons. See, Rebecca has yep. them. Yep. And don't yeah. forget, guys, they're offering $10 off a $40 order. So you're actually only paying $30. And like Jana said, she went to check out their website really quick while you were doing your demo. Mm -hmm. And she said they have awesome, you know, um, of awesome variety. And, it, you know, they're inexpensive. Because right. I think, I think, don't hold me to this, but I think the um subscription box that they just started i believe they're 24.95 and you get a whole bunch of different you, you do know, little doodads in there not just buttons you right. get all kinds of cute little stuff it'll like, stay on their website what lisa time. showed you what she got yeah and i got almost the same thing like i i absolutely <laughs> love these sequins yes because i use sequins on cards and stuff but I also got some, this is a gift from them that came in the box and it is micro beads. Yeah. You know, so I think everybody gets a different gift because, you know, you're doing the subscription boxes and you just put in, I saw a cute comment, Jimmy, turning into my mama, saving glass. Oh, I know, right. I mean, <laughs> Linda has ice jars full of buttons sorted by color. Mine are sorted by color too. This is decorative. And then. That's how I have mine too. Not in jars, but white, sorted by color. Black. Gold, blues, green, yellows, oranges. <laughs> and it yeah. goes on and on and Hence the size of her craft room, people. I have two craft rooms. She does. I'm so jealous. Well, I have this one, and someday I'll do a tour. I have this one, which is I this want to main one. It's my main one. It, yeah. I want to say it's 12 or 14 feet wide by like 20. Yeah, it's twice the size of mine. And then upstairs, I have my sewing room, which Doubles as a guest room because we we bought a futon or a day bed that pulls day out bed. that pulls out beautiful day bed. I it, love is, it. it is beautiful. So it, beautiful. Well, and I was able to actually use. I made a yo-yo quilt for my mother-in-law year years ago for Christmas one year. Yeah. And when she passed away, I got it back. But she had never, ever, ever used it because she was afraid to use it. Right. And it was in a plastic um, Ziploc bag. Well, I took it out and it fits perfectly on that day bed. 
It looks and then so behind good. behind the day bed, I have a quilt that she made. And then over a closet door, I have a quilt that her sister made. Yep. So, I mean, my sewing room is beautiful. But I had five kids. I have a huge house. So yes, you do. Thus, a you huge know, house. I do. <laughs> Mine would fit in there probably two times at least. <laughs> she had two kids. I had five. Yeah. yeah. Only had two. Thank you. <laughs> that was enough. <laughs> for me. <laughs> so I want to thank you all for coming. I hope you like the project. If you make any of these, please share them in the group. Can you show us your quilt in the day bed? Oh. This, I, I'm on a desktop. I'm on a desktop. Let me see. Let me, let me see if I can join with my phone. Oh, and then you could just run up there. Yeah, let me see if I can send send me an send me an invite, Lisa. Here, I'll send myself an invite. Okay. Okay, and then I can run up there, and I will show you my sewing room. Yes. Yeah, I haven't been uh, to Anne's house, but I I she takes me on tours every once in a while. So Eileen has been to my house. Eileen comes and stays with me. Yeah. So, um, let me see. I'm trying to send it. I'm trying to get out of the Bella page. <laughs> send it to myself. They've made things so hard. <laughs> okay. Paste. Wait, who am I sending? I can't, I can't send it to myself, Lisa. I'll send it to you, and then I can grab it. I think. Send. What are you sending me? Just, just like I'm messaging you. But then I think I can grab it. Oh, gotcha. Okay. So let me see if if that works, guys. Okay. If not, then one day very soon, I'll keep reminding her, Dorothy, to do a little tour of both of her rooms because. Her craft rooms are amazing. Okay, let me see. I'm going to join StreamYard. Okay. Open this page in Safari. I've never done it on my phone. I've never tried to join on my phone. So... I don't think uh -oh. you can do it in Safari, can you? I have no idea. I only do Chrome. Um, right. Lisa, That's all I do, too. Lisa said, um, snap a photo and put it in the Facebook group. You could do that right now after we're done. Okay. okay. Or are you going to run right now? I it? am. I'm going to put my name in here. Okay. Don't add me. Oops. Yeah, mute one of yours. <laughs> mute one of them. She's telling me, don't do not add me to the thing while she's walking through her house. I can't hear you. You'll have to tell me when because I can't hear you. Are you ready? Love virtual tours. Dorothy, you are not causing any trouble. We love to share stuff. So, you know, we're not doing anything right now, just hanging out. So why not? Okay. Now, can I add you? Yes. Okay. All right. There we go. Okay. So if I turn it, will that work? Yep. Okay. Perfect. So take, take my other thing out. Okay, maybe. Uh, 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 here, let's do. Nope, that's not it. That's not what I want. Sorry. Wrong one. Sorry. Okay, I'm going to remove the other one. Okay, that works. And then I'm going to make you big. No, not me. Dang it. <laughs> this is fine. This will okay. work. Although I can't see where I can turn my phone. So, Dorothy, 
I'm going to do it this way. So this is my sewing area. Sewing. Those are my beautiful windows. Yeah. Shelving. Okay. This is, okay, so that's my day bed. Look at how beautiful that is. So the, the star quilt is one my mother-in-law made. And the basket quilt is one my great, or my husband's aunt made. And we used it. I didn't like the closet door because it was hard to get into. So I had a hanger on there and I use it for my closet door. But see, isn't that daybed just beautiful? I love it. Love it. Love it. And then since I'm up here, <laughs> since I'm up here. Okay, so this is one wall. This is my favorite wall or my favorite cabinet because I have I have my bolts of fabric. Yeah. And um so this is my fabric part of my fabric collection, I hate to say. But yeah, part. I mean, just I went part. to school for fashion design, guys. So this yeah. is definite sewer. Uh, I am a sewer. And then this, okay, so then here's another more. And then we're back to my sewing machine. All See, right, so I, would, I would just which, die having one. Which <laughs> I don't know if you can see if I get close enough. The the picture up there? Yeah. Yeah. We is a picture, is a quilt I did for my sister who passed away. So I got that. Oh nice. Um, but I love it. It's angels. Like my sister. Yeah. So yes. Um I'm going to go back down. To, I don't care if you guys see my house. It just kind of makes people sick walking. <laughs> Do you want me to so take you off? Put the other one in and yeah, I'll come okay. down. All right. I am going to remove Anne from that one. And then we'll wait till she comes back in. And then we'll finish up. Yeah. So wasn't that room amazing, you guys? Okay. So one room. Oh my God. So you have to show your craft room next. Not now, but I will show. I know. I mean, yeah. my craft room is it's amazing. Pretty amazing. I mean, it is amazing. I mean, my son yeah. made me those um those thin little shelves. I have one, two, three, four of them. Yeah. And they're just enough to hold inks and my stamps and paints. And then I have another one that has little rods to hold ribbons. I am. Um, yeah. Um, so very kind glad. Of a mini tour for you guys. Yeah. Good thing I, I keep it. my house clean, right? <laughs> <laughs> my sewing room could have been such a mess. No. Exactly. That's the reason why I would not show my craft room right now. I could, for the most part, show my craft room, but getting ready for a live. Oh, yeah. No. Like, my, my table is, is a mess. Yeah, because you, everything is. You, you have everything out and, you know. Well, I just got back from being gone for a month and then being sick while I was gone and then back. So, my room is a disaster right now. And it's going to be even bigger when my granddaughter comes. So, that's why I didn't even bother. It's like, I'll pick up after she <laughs> After she goes home. You guys are welcome. I'm happy to share. Yeah, yeah. I don't do that that often. I share it with Lisa. I know. I do it all like the time. Said, Eileen comes and stays with me. And, you know, then yeah. we sit and play. But it is nice to, you know, my, my room down here is big enough that my grandkids can sit around my workstation here. Yeah. And we can craft. Or girlfriends, you know. Yep. yep. That's what. But so I live fun. like in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> <laughs> I I live two and a half hours from the Twin Cities, in a town of less than about two hundred and fifty people. I was going to say it's it's small. You said like two hundred fifty three hundred. It is. Wow, that's just my neighborhood. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Right. <laughs> I might be a little bigger than that. I will, I will go through all of your comments 
and yeah. answer any questions that you had. I hope you guys liked the project today. Remember to look in the group and look on our page. I will put that survey in about Bellacon yes. 2023. We are so excited. Um, and until then, oh, wait, we have to say the, the winners. Oh, that's right. I have last week's winners since um, I had to delete that video. Yeah. So this is from Jean's interview, right? Or from Jean's interview. Okay. I have a goodie basket from her Etsy shop for Karen Ra Ramondo. Right. Hinko. Right. Karen Ramondo Hinko. Hinko, I think. Let me you look. Give me You're right. You're correct. I have a rope assortment from Jean's Etsy okay. shop for Nancy Elm. E L A M. I'm sure I'm saying that wrong. Yeah, I I don't know. Yeah. Sharon Gullickson, you weren't here today, but I know she messaged me. She won one of those um mints that you put the vegetables and potatoes in. Yeah, the the that Jean designed. Right. The tortilla holder. Tortilla oven. Oven. Yes. Yes. Okay, yeah, I have one of those actually. They're very cool. And Jean Marble won a ribbon assortment from Gwen Studios. Yeah. So perfect. And then last week's winner. Do you have that name? No. Okay. Last week's winner is winning a five pack of the Amsterdam inks, which I used last week in my project. That's Royal Talons, right? Royal Talons. And I did okay. tell some people that when I have a few minutes, I will shoot just a quick video and throw it up so that they can see how it's done. Okay. So thank you, everybody. So we need to pick a winner then and then announce it. Huh? Because we didn't pick a winner for Royal Talons. We'll, we'll put it on our Facebook page for okay. everybody to see. Yep. Perfect. Perfect. Okay. So thank you. Don't forget you. about next week's giveaway for buttons galore and more. Oh, this week's for next week. Yes. Exactly. So like, yeah. share, comment, hashtag Bella Crafts. Yep. That's it. So thank you. Take some time to craft because it's good for your soul. Mm. It really is. Yes. All right, you guys. Have a great week. We will see you next week. Don't forget the survey. It's going to be important. Oh, yeah. Don't. Don't forget the survey. I need those answers. Yeah. <laughs> Bye, Thank everybody. you. Have Bye, a great everyone. Week.